Hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. This particular prophetic word title says, It's a warning the Lord told me to warn you about your house. Hallelujah. This is a warning. The Lord is warning you about your house. I want to use this medium opportunity to welcome you all in the name of Jesus. If you all see my face for your very first time, or you are coming across this, this channel, God bless you. Hallelujah. It is a privilege and not a right. Um, I pray that at the end of this word, may you have a word of testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is warning you about your house. Praise Master Jesus. One thing I tell people, whenever God reveals, is to redeem. Hallelujah. When God revealed the case of King Ezekiah, it was to redeem. When he revealed the case of the people of, of Nini, it was to reveal, it to redeem. Hallelujah. So God is revealing this particular case concerning your house to redeem in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are coming across this channel for your very first time, my name is Basil Njomesa. By the help of the Holy Spirit, I am the man that God is using to bring us his word on daily basis. Please become part of this lovely, amazing family. As you are subscribing, God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This prophetic word is talking about your house. Your house. Hallelujah. It's talking about your house. Something is wrong with your house. There is a problem with your house. Something is wrong. Praise Master Jesus. I just want to, like, it's not, this does not cause of fear and alarm. Actually, this particular warning is going to somebody whereby your house has become a limitation for your work with God. Your house has become, hallelujah, a limitation with your work with God. You are living in a place whereby you are not safe when it comes to spiritual. Whenever anybody is doing something that would, that would place people physically, everybody is happy. They will support you. They will not distract you. But whenever you want to like dedicate yourself to, to, to do the things of God serious, there's a lot of distraction. A lot of people are fighting you. Some will even insult you. Some will even distract your prayers. Some will even do a lot of things like those that doing some things just to distract you because they know that you are praying. And as I'm talking to you, your house is the only place whereby you have to, to sit down and talk to your God. But you don't have that peace of mind. You don't have that 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 particular inner peace. Like you are not comfortable. And the Lord is telling me to warn you. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. One of the signs I tell people, whenever you are somewhere and you start feeling uncomfortable, hallelujah, if you are comfortable somewhere, no matter the attacks, hallelujah, God is still asking you to stay. But the moment you start feeling battered, challenges, and you sense this right deep in you that I am no longer comfortable, then God is asking you to move. There are people whereby, praise Master Jesus, you can be com comfortable somewhere, but you don't have peace of mind. Yet, that is a sign that God is telling you. There are people that they can be distracted, but yet they can just say, oh, let me just manage. At least I am comfortable. I am free. These people are just distracting me. But right now, as I'm talking to you, the Lord is talking about your house. You are not comfortable. Praise Master Jesus. I asked myself a question one time. Hallelujah. There was a time that I was praying live on YouTube. The particular position where, where I was living, I had some people there that I was working together and living with them. When I started praying, like they, they, they were jealous each time I'm live. They would come and attack me. Like one time, one of them even came and break my phone. That I should stop the nonsense I am doing. This is not like, oh my God. So I just imagine myself, if it was at this particular stage right now that I'm going live to pray with people, morning, evening, morning, evening, call people, talk with people, pray individual with people. So at that particular time where I was being attacked, hallelujah, I was no longer comfortable. I was no longer safe there. Praise Master Jesus, because some will put music. Some will turn on the Wi-Fi. Some can even check when you are praying. Then they will switch on the Wi-Fi. They will switch on the light, the light, just to distract your prayers. So the Lord is warning you about your house. If you are here watching me and you are in a particular environment whereby you feel that you are not safe, you are not secure, 
spiritually the house is a distraction to you child of god listen to me you need to make a decision to make a u-turn listen to me the type of environment that you are living matters a lot in your life the type of people you surround yourself with matters the type of people you follow matters there are people that they don't receive their healing because they, they were prayed for when you start following people that 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 are not in your in your category like like in your same shoes in your problem in your situation automatically you will end up being 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 delivered from that particular matter issue or sickness there is a lady that was asthmatic patient this particular lady came to church like we were praying together with this lady so many years ago this lady will come will pray together will pray together at a particular point of time this lady said ah, ah since i started praying with you people i just noticed that this asthmatic patient this asthmatic thing has just stopped it is no longer disturbing me for good three months this lady could do things that she could not do she asked herself how did this happen just because she decided to rob herself in the midst of people that are on fire child of god there are some locations houses whereby if you're living you can never grow this lady decided to make a u-turn praise master jesus the bible says the lord called abraham god never called lord the god made the covenant with abraham but lord decided to follow abraham the bible say in blessing lord, lord were blessed lord was also rich child of god listen to me the type of person you follow the type of person you make your own the type of person you be with praise master jesus it determine how you want your life to be if you're watching me right now and you know that the place of which you're living does not encourage your spiritual life to move to, to move forward this is a warning the lord is asking you that is not the only place you can live look for a better place where your faith can grow look for a better place where you where you meet people that are on fire if you want the fire to keep on burning keep on adding wood how will you add the wood you cannot be somewhere where there is no wood and you're expecting the fire to burn be careful for your fire to be quenched in that same house the temptation the battles you don't longer study as before you don't longer pray as before because why you are not comfortable a lot of distraction the lord says i should warn you praise master jesus that particular place can quench your fire the lord says, i should warn you that particular place can end up quenching your fire but i pray for somebody watching and connecting your fire will not quench the fire of god upon your life will not quench i repeat the fire of god in your life will not quench for in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you for wanting, watching. Thank. Make sure you stand the gap as you're blessing someone in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.